Hi guys, just a quick video with an update on Ernie. Um, as you can see, I've put the original pillion seat back on and it makes a world of difference. I can shuffle back a little bit now, so um, it's much, much more comfortable for me. So that's good. I sold the other seats to a subscriber. So um, thanks, Bob. Uh, it's good to meet you. He's got a green, Halcyon Green 350 Classic and sent me a picture of it with the new seat on. It looks really good. So, um, yeah, it's probably my favourite colour, actually, the Halting Green one, but my mate's got one, so I couldn't get that. So, obviously, this is my new favourite colour. Um, I've changed my mind about the badges. I think I'm going to leave them on there. It just doesn't seem... The, the, the yellow Royal Enfield badge just doesn't look right on it. I don't want to muck about with it. So, yeah. Still struggling to get up to 300 miles, but I think I'll, within the month hopefully. If any of you got any ideas about what sort of cover I should put on or get put on the uh, seats, let me know. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm torn between a few and any ideas would be great. But yeah, absolutely loving him. If anyone's thinking about getting a Royal Enfield, I really urge you to take one out for a test ride because I think you'd be hooked. And it, I think it's it's perfect bike for everyone really of all sizes as well. I'm six foot four and I don't feel cramped at all, especially with the the pillion seat on there because as I said, you can move back because they're pretty much straight there. So you can just push yourself back on the seat, and it is so much fun, so much fun. Yeah, absolutely love him. Such a shame you're not allowed to have the black and silver number plates on there because that would just finish him off. But I've got my number plate velcroed, so you can just and then put the silver one on as and when I'm parked up and no one can see me. <laughs> okay, guys, have a good week and I'll catch you on the next one. Right, so.